Hey, man, we're back in here. Hey, man, excuse me, it's 4 o'clock in the morning, bro. But let's get this going, man. Leave the door open. I mean, everybody knows this song. Do I have to get it? Do I have to give it an introduction? I don't think so. This is probably going to be my favorite albums of the year. Uh, if not my favorite, I have no idea. But very excited to hear what these boys will cook up. Uh, Keep That Iron. Now, this is a song that's... I uh, got promoted by Kodak because one of Kodak artists, Wiz the Wizard. I was like, okay, it's pretty cool. He rapped over uh, BG's Get Your Shine On, a throwback classic, a cash money type song. And yeah, man, he, he did a pretty good job at it. I don't really know if anybody would like this. I haven't found anybody that, that has liked this song, but I like it. Nigga. I like old cash money stuff, and I like when niggas flip it. So yeah, Florida niggas love cash money. So yeah, it just went hand to hand. Babble. Jamil Naeem X, I feel like he's made at least one appearance on every month this year, which I don't think anybody else has done, so shout out to him, man. That guy just never fails to impress me. Super duper talented rapper from New Orleans. Speaking of New Orleans, when I was talking about Cash Money, dude, this guy can rap, man. If you haven't heard any of his songs, just go check out any of the songs I have on my playlist by him. Or just go check out any of his albums, man. Fidel's Color, Fidel's Favorite Color, Part 1, 2, uh, Chico Eyes. What else? Um, all of these albums, bro. He is so good, man. Shout out to Jamil. Bro, I don't know why, but this song gets stuck in my head a lot, man. I think it's that beat and when the bass hit, and then you got Jack with the, I'm the man in my city, and then the beat. Boom, doo, 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 doo. That beat is hard, man. And then Baby Had a Fire Verse. This is a very catchy song, and they play this a lot on ESPN, like in between games, like when they finna like, uh, go to commercial or whatnot, they always play this song. So yeah, it's a very catchy song. I'm the man in my city, co signed by Diddy, hard like shrimp, Diddy, fire, man. Uh, American terrorist spelled with two T's. Shout out to Sherm from KTT. He made the, he made the song go viral. Uh, he was like, what was it? I think the title was like, RX nephew does a nine minute epic on religion. And bro, it is one of the most thought provoking, uh, philosophical, uh, just per, just freaking prolific writing. Like, legitimately, I can't lie to you, bro. If you want to hear an eight-minute to nine-minute song that's going to have you intrigued and enthralled throughout the entire thing, if you don't listen to anything, listen to this song. I mean, you will laugh, you will think, you will be amazed, you will be confused. Every emotion that you can think of, you will go through listening to this roller coaster of a song called American Terrorist, spelled with two T's. Please listen to this. You will not regret it. You will be amazed. Let's see what else we got? Somebody I broke my heart. Shout out to Natalie, man. Uh, Natalie was playing this song, man. Nobody knows who Natalie is. Listen to this, but shout out to Natalie, man. I was like, dang, what shot they song to this? She was like, that's a. Uh, that's somebody I broke my heart. Money already broke my heart. I'm like, oh, that's a shot. Hey, it's hot to Natalie, man. I might come. Natalie might make a playlist for y'all boys, man. I'm gonna let <laughs> I'm gonna let I'm gonna let her be a mystery to the channel. She's gonna start uploading content. I'm like, who is this woman that's like putting content on Eric channel? Shout out to Natalie. Uh, news or something. Had no idea this song was on Apple Music until I think I brought it up. Someone was like, yo, it's on music. I was like, really? It's, like, it's on the deluxe of uh, Purple Rain. Had to add that. One of my favorite feature songs of all time. Nardin B was just in their bag, man. Such a good song. The Hurt Business. A song I didn't know existed until this month. I think it came out last year around October. It has West Side Gun, Smoke Dizza, Wale, and most importantly, The Wrestler, MVP. Had no idea MVP could rap. Makes sense. He a Florida boy, and uh, he, I mean, he lived the life of a rapper. Like, they robbed a bank and kidnapped somebody. He was wilding back in the day, and he rapped about that and had some crazy bars on this, so... Shout out to my boy MVP, man. Uh, they always love when wrestlers got bars, man. Hey, bro, Hot Boy, man. Hot Boy came through on this, man. Uh, he, he went over a, a Detroit beat, man. Them niggas was going crazy over this, bro. Florida niggas and Detroit beats. I'm telling you, I've been saying it for the longest. Match made in heaven because we love high tempo, fast paced beats. Just listen to Kodak over that Lil Yachty song. It makes so much sense. So, hey, super glad to hear Hot Boy over that.
think DJ Lucas. I don't know why this song just impresses me, man. I interviewed DJ Lucas last year. Uh, he sounds like Wayne over this in certain parts. The way he say, uh, I made her twist and twirl. Some, some, I give the girl. Like, the way he did that, he sounded just like Wayne. I love this song, man. This hook is great, bro. What do you say? He say, um, he say, uh, I can give you lo- I can give you knowledge, but I can't make you think. I can show you to the water, but I can't make you drink. Fire hook, man. It's not DJ Lucas, bro. DJ, DJ. Uh, Hot box. This song should be viral by now. This is one of the most infectious songs I've heard all year. It came out last year, but bro, this freaking beat. Oh my gosh, bro. So potent. I want to say Lex Luger produced this. I could be wrong. But, bro, this beat that. Bro, that beat is crazy. And he would just. Bro, that nigga Yevo. This is Yevo best rapping right here. I've heard Yevo rap a lot. Haven't heard him rap like this specifically. So good. Broken English, man. Uh, not gonna, not gonna lie. I'm not gonna say her name. Is it Marianne? I think it's. I'm gonna say Marianne Faithful, bro. This song is. I want to make a movie. I've been thinking about writing a movie, directing a movie. Whenever you see that movie, whenever that may be, if it's tomorrow, ten months from now, it could be five, ten years from now. Who knows? This song will be in that movie. This is such an 80s movie song. I love 80s movies. I love that feel. I love that era. And this will be in my movie, I promise you. Pistol Whip, a song I randomly found on like a YouTube channel that posts just like random little indie pop songs. And I was like, it's pretty cool. So I'll put it on here. P's and Q's, an old Mick Jenkins song that impressed me back in the day. And I went back to go listen to it because I was like, will this still impress me in 2021? And it did. It did. He just used a whole bunch of P's, P words and Q words. And it was like, uh, <laughs> uh, how, how, how can you prophetically question my my, my, my pen? Uh, you know, just doing that quarantine. He was going wild and I couldn't do that. So, yeah, I always respect when niggas use letters and make it like a part of the freaking song that's like alphabetical slaughter by papoose if anybody's ever heard that one of the most insane songs i've ever heard in my life he goes from a to z and he only uses words in within that letter so he'd be like a alphabetically uh, uh amazing afro-man but it all makes sense b boys bashing the ball like nah, c cunts crashing like it'd be and then he'll go all the way to z then he got alphabetical slaughter z to a which came out eight years later where he went from z to a doing the same thing but the catch was he couldn't use any words that he used in the first one hey man pat Poos, you're a madman uh, do a hundred in the rain. I just read a couple hours ago that Dark Lil may be facing eight years for witness tampering. Now, Dark Lil AR rap might be the most menacing niggas of all time. Philly rappers are the most dirtiest niggas in human history. Like, legit, I don't think they wash their necks. They're just disgusting humans, man. But I love them. Dark Low is fire, bro. What's the nigga Dark Low said? He said, uh, he said something out in St. Lou. The knife worked good. It's Ray Lou. <laughs> bro, that nigga was talking crazy on this song, bro. Fire song fire artists like if you just want that i ain't watched my neck in five months type music dark low and ar rap which are two people who are locked up right now they will give it to you um live from the kitchen shot to starlito i used to kind of like starlito like i wasn't huge on starlito but i always liked starlito songs like i respected what starlito does like he has a lot of respect for me i don't know why i wasn't a bigger fan like i, I really appreciate what he does and live from the kitchen was like one of my first songs i heard from him and this first song like i really liked i was like oh this is a really good song so i just kind of visit, revisited uh i don't know why but yeah shot to starlito Band old Freddie Gibbs song, man. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, cold day in hell, man. This is uh, one of those you know, classic Freddie Gibbs songs that don't really get talked about that much. Niggas only talk about the mad lib stuff, but hey, man, that boy Freddie Gibbs got some older albums that's hard, man. And Band, I think, is one of his best songs, in my opinion. I think it's a Harry Fraud beat. Hey, Fraud, I got to interview that guy for his years over, man. He is amazing, or no, it's Cardo. It's Cardo, not Harry Fraud. It's Cardo. Cardo as well. Cardo and Harry Fraud, bro, they are two just, I feel like they're underrated. Like, I feel like the people who know or in the know, they give them their props, but I feel like they don't get enough, man. So that's a Cardo and Harry Fraud. 
Uh, The Lightweight, bro, I love Uncle John, such a good song, that nigga was rapping his behind off on here, this gets stuck in my head every time I take a shower, don't know why in the shower, but every time I take a shower, this gets stuck in my head, Uh, oh, you want the drink method, love this guy, man, his music gets stuck in my head all the freaking time, SOS, Heidi's at Vane, this guy, bro, he's a groundbreaking artist, he's going to be the one to change R&B, don't say that I didn't tell you this. I've been hyping this guy up for the longest. He's finally dropping music. She's a hottie at vain. A supermodel loan shrooms. Come on, bro. What? Hey, listen to it. That's all I got to say, man. He one of the ones, bro. Frank Lucas. Being a butcher verse on here is elite. That's all I will say. Slime. I don't know why this song got stuck in my head. There's two songs. It's Slime and it's... Another one, I forget the name of the song, but bro, Dolan Beats got some crazy beats on here. Shout out to uh, freaking Slime Cito, man. Slime Cito, Slime Cito, Slime Cito. He did his thing on here. And uh, Park itself, not the last song, but I thought it was. Man, Band Gang Lonnie, bro, that nigga is fine. He, he's freaking, he's fire, bro. He is freaking fire, man. Uh, I want to interview him. I think I will before this, before like really soon. So uh, I want to talk about the song like to him. So I'll, I'll save everything. But yeah, man, fire song. The beat change on here. Whoo, whoever that producer was in his bag. And then lastly, Hove Flow, Bobby Fishkill, the best technical rapper the best technical trap rapper i've heard in a very long time bro he is from tallahassee florida and that man can rap bro but he has some crazy one-liners that nigga said uh something something he trapped all day i done broke a world record nine months i ain't bathe or nine days i ain't bathe <laughs> a nigga not bathing in nine days is crazy what else he said he said uh the nigga wanna smash my cousin so i middle man the trick <laughs> Bro, listen to whole flow, listen to Root Lady, uh, listen to 9 to 5, and what else I want y'all to listen to? So that's Root Lady, 9 to 5, whole flow, and the second song off of uh, this album that I linked right here. I forget the name of it, but it's the second song. All those songs are insane, bro. I mean, Bob Fish goes insane in general, but yeah, man, love that guy. And uh, yeah, I'm out, man. Hopefully y'all niggas rock with this playlist.